everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the full process of me taking this hot mess of an overgrown fish tank and turning it into this much nicer, more organized fish tank with a lot more texture. As always, I'm starting off by turning off the light and removing the lid. If you notice another light in this video, that is just for filming purposes. I'm going ahead and removing this red plant that I actually just bought the day before and I was storing in the tank so it wouldn't die. Then I'm going and removing any decor that I had in this tank, such as this lava rock, my choya wood here, my betta's very well-loved floating log, and this very, very large piece of hornwort. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drain most of the water of my aquarium before I take out my fish and whatever else remains in the tank. Once everything's out, I go ahead and remove the last of the water. I know I'm sucking up a lot of sand here. That's actually part of the plan because I am taking it out, so it actually just helps me in the long run if I end up taking it all out. I'm taking some paper towel and just wiping up the remaining water and sand in the bottom of the tank so it doesn't get mixed up with everything that I'm adding in later. And when that's done, I just take a wet soft scraper and run along the sides of my tank. I know it's not a perfect job, but I'm not trying to do a deep clean. In fact, it's good to keep some beneficial bacteria there. Now I'm going ahead and adding my plant substrate. This is the fluorite black, I believe, and I've never used anything like this before, and I just know it's going to drive me nuts. Once it's smoothed out, I go ahead and I start adding the water. I'm using the plate method that you always see on the back of like gravel bags that I've never used before, but as you can see, using sand just makes your water so cloudy that I figured it was pretty much unavoidable in this case. So I just finished topping up the water and then I can go ahead and remove the plate. Look at that cloud of dust. Now it is time to decorate. I did let the dirt settle a little bit first um, so I could actually see what was going on. But right now I'm adding this piece of Mopani driftwood and then I'm adding this small piece of spiderwood. Now going back to the plant that I pulled out in the beginning, I wish I knew what it was called, but it was not labeled in the local fish store I went to. I just picked it out because it was pretty and hoped for the best. So I am going ahead and planting it in the back of my tank because it is very tall already. Next, I am adding back the lava rock that I took out at the beginning, and I'm actually going ahead and adding a second that I have and stacking them. Lava rock is very easy to stack, and this is the first time I've ever tried doing it. Then I'm adding another piece of spiderwood on the other side of the tank, just to add a little bit of symmetry. Now I'm adding another live plant to my tank. This one is a Nubius, an extremely popular um, aquarium plant. I'm attaching this onto my piece of Mopani driftwood, then I'm going in and adding my personal staple for a planted tank, a moss ball. This was acquired long before they were banned from pet stores worldwide. And then I'm going in adding this grass plant. Admittedly, I haven't had a lot of success with them, but I'm giving it a shot anyway. Now I am taking this massive piece of hornwort that I had and I am cutting off uh, basically the best pieces, the ones that are still the most dense, the most green, and I'm adding those into the back of my tank. I then have to add back my floating betta lock so my betta does not disown me, and then I am beginning the acclimating process. While he's acclimating, I go ahead and add everything to my tank that I need to add. In this case, it's the water conditioner, a bacterial supplement because I essentially started my tank over, and also a general plant food that should work for all of my plants. By the time that was all done, the acclimation process was completed and Finn could be released back into his tank. And the final step is just putting the lid back on, turning the lights back on, and then everything is all done. So thank you so much for watching my Betta Tank upgrade. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload. That is all for today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!